Miss Hina doesn't usually do endorsements, but since it's Lady Guji that's asking, we'll see what we can do. With Miss Hina getting so popular lately, a lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. But Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters, and turns down every promotional opportunity she can. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. <laughs> I, I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. We'll do our best. Are you sure you'd like to submit this entry? Let me see. The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler by Thousand Hands. Okay, we have to create that one so that I cannot despise. Miraculous. I mean, I overlook this. What a strange pen name. Definitely your doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon's slowly starting to understand your unique taste. What do you mean, strange? It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? We'll get this printed as a matter of priority and conduct trial sales in pilot locations throughout Inazuma. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Uh-oh. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? That's right. Be confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. Okay, then I'll sign you up. Please come back in three days for the results. Thank you all for your submission. I wish you the very best of luck. Ah, you've all finally made it. We time travel. Good news, everyone. I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. Woohoo! That's great! This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Most new books don't sell 30% of what you've sold. <laughs> I have free copies for each of you here. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. That sounds nice. Oh yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! Hmm... We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished our goal. How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? Hey guys, have you heard about this latest Kaidan thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, and your wish will come true! Oh, that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. No one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of Mora and got it, but then one night, it all turned to leaves, and he developed a high fever. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. Pretty much everyone I know is desperate to try it out. Just waiting for a moonless night. Really? Well, I better go and prepare too. Well, feeling less worried now? Wow, you're right! Everyone's shifting focus! But still, what gonna stop other people just try out? I mean, maybe they didn't hear about the side effects. But what's this moonless night that they're talking about? Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. 
<laughs> this is something that will become very important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Eh? There's a phase two? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Oh, yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits. Also, we still need to figure out what his motive for writing it was. Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. But when we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. Yes, this is another case of possession. Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel! After that, he lost consciousness. But the spirit that wrote the book has already left him now, right? So what are we supposed to do? Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> We're gonna be the beta, don't we? Oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. Oh no, I saw her trailers. And I don't like the... Woo! Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Remember when I say I kind of like the interaction? I'm now paying for the results now. I'm doing a just a pause. Oh my god, I never thought I'm gonna see that. Ugh. Well, to go. Nico, what is this place? A domain we're gonna enter just once. The ideal spot for a little meet and greet with a certain elusive author. This is the place where we are most likely to succeed in summoning the spirit. Really? But it feels so eerie here. <laughs> that seems rather fitting, considering that we are dealing with the spirits of the deceased here. What are you so afraid of, honestly? We're finally about to meet the true author of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Aren't you excited? Paimon's heart is pounding, but Paimon's pretty sure it's not because of excitement! <laughs> Come on, in we go. Hey! Wait up! Oh, Paimon's scared! Stay close by, okay? Don't leave Paimon all alone! Let's see what they give us. He has a new weapon. No bless. Hmm. She actually focused on this one. Well, let me see how many. Hey man, let's say 105. Not a lot. Ah, <sighs> traveling to other worlds is all that anyone seems to be writing about these days. What a weird painting. Miko, do you know what it's supposed to show? Hmm, probably a scene from ancient Inazuma. It's a good piece of artwork and all, but it's also kind of eerie. So it's a bit scary. Hmm, looks like the artist signed their name. Um... Rakusai? Hmm. It's not very clear. Let's go inside and take a look. Wow. This place 
is huge! Hey, is that... a mirror? There's a really weird-looking stool as well. Wonder what it's for? Ah, I see. Huh. This setup is quite handy. Saves me a lot of work. All right, go and take a look around. There should be a mechanism somewhere that makes the whole room move. Next, I will show you a secret Kitsune spell. This painting is a swift summoning medium, which means I'll be able to skip many of the more tedious steps. The murky mirror reflects the view of Inazuma in a bygone age. Spirits stirred by the sight of the past will be easily drawn to it. You're up next, little one. Come on, sit yourself down here. Yes. The whole point of a summoning ritual is for a dead person's spirit to possess a living person's body. You saw what happened to that Oni Samurai spirit. After leaving the host's body, he was only able to maintain his form for a very short time before disappearing. Are we positive that summoning a spirit to possess the Traveler isn't gonna have any lasting negative consequences? Oh, you really care about the little one quite a lot, don't you? Hmm, I'm a little jealous. I wish my friends were caring like that. <laughs> anyway, are you scared, little friend? Don't you worry now, it'll be over soon. Just think of it like having a dream. Fine, what I have to do? Sit on the chair, stare at the painting, and relax your body and mind. Try and be natural. There's really no need to be nervous. Are we gonna gonna be possessed by a character? Like this be like kind of surreal. It's like he's sitting inside the painting. Recite the incantation in your heart, little one. Also, you'll need to have some intense thoughts going through your head. A wish, for example. Now, what kind of wish do we think it would take to summon forth the author of A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits? Anyone? Um, probably something to do with writing? Very good. The wish needs to be heartfelt, though, so let me help add a little realism to the equation. The book is selling exceptionally well, Traveler, but we're going to need an outline for Chapter 4 as soon as humanly possible. When is the earliest that you can turn it in by? A.K.A. Sumail, that we... Okay, again. Sometimes this is surreal, funny, and scary in the same time. <laughs> I never thought the day would come when I'd be summoned using my own ritual. <sighs> Getting a taste of my own medicine. Okay, we finally talk. It's not the whole feature of what I talked about. I'm gonna take it. What have we here? Another budding writer? What's come over you all? Why is everyone wishing for help with their writing? Are novels so popular in this day and age? We got you! So you were the one who wrote a first-hand guide to summoning spirits! What are you trying to do, hmm? Why'd you put that summoning incantation in the book, huh? What's your game here? Huh? What's this? Oh, <laughs> I see. 
No wonder this felt so familiar. I've walked right into your trap, haven't I? You ask me what my game is here? Well, of course. It was to use this incantation as a means for all the souls of the departed yokai to make their glorious return to the world and plunge all of Inazuma into a brutal, bloody war! What? Paimon knew it! You had an evil plan all along! Oh, oh, did you now? Then how naive of you to let me possess this body so easily. I sense, yes, great power within him. Good. Good! With this power, no one shall be able to stand in my way! <laughs> um, uh, now I'm another curious. I'm curious. Do the female travel has the same voice or actually they're gonna have a female voice? That'd be actually fun to hear. Wake up! Quick! Wake up! We gotta stop him! <laughs> it is futile. You shall never wake him again. This body now belongs to me! Hey! Come on, wake up! Don't let him take your mind! Miko, think of something! Miko! Miko! Huh? You haven't changed a bit. You caught on so quickly. Too perfect. <laughs> well, you made the face enough times that I couldn't exactly miss the hint. This is what you were going for, yes? Never one to stand on the sidelines of a good spectacle, are you? Always got to dive in and fan the flames, huh, you mischievous little kitsune, you? Look what you've done to this little flying one here. Oh, poor thing scared witless. This was a pain. You were having plenty of fun playing the bad guy a moment ago. Now you're trying to blame it all on me? Urakasai? Miko, you guys know each other? Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> Allow me to formally introduce the author of A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, Urakusai. Uh, no, wait. To be more accurate, it's Urakusai's memory. Memory? But isn't he a spirit? Ah, spirits, memories. They're just different words to describe the same thing. Something that comes from the ley lines. Again, the fact that he actually speak just... Do you remember that recent incident when the Rift Hounds were gnawing at the sacred Sakura's roots? Oh, that thing that just happened before. And I want to say F for the Eater voice actor. Sorry, buddy. You witnessed human memories leaking from the ley lines, didn't you? Well, since there are human memories, of course there are going to be yokai memories too. In life, yokai possess supernatural powers. And even when they are a shadow of their former selves from a bygone era, they still have the ability to control whether they are visible or not. Typically, yokai memories survive longer in the world than those of humans. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I was wandering around the sacred Sakura's roots when I suddenly heard someone yelling, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel. It piqued my curiosity, so I popped inside his body and wrote a novel for him. So that's how it happened. But why did you include a summoning incantation in the novel? Oh, little one. Not to toot my own horn here, but when I was alive, I wasn't just another Kitsune, no. I was a mighty and powerful Daioko. The memories of other yokai can't possess human bodies at will like I can. But with this incantation, they can go one last little joyride in the world for a couple of days. Anything they're still itching to do, they can go and get it done. Uh, but... but... 
She's trying to say that all the commotion this causes is likely to be a great disturbance to the humans. Disturbance? <laughs> I guess you mean that we might leave them with some broken dreams after we leave, hmm? Oh, yes. And they might have a fever or whatever. But you know, I actually think that the most admirable thing about human beings is the way that they go out and shape their fate with their own two hands, given that they're not born blessed with the same powers that we enjoy. As for those who would rather draw on external power than seek to improve themselves, it's quite right that they learn their lesson eventually. So when you think about it, we're actually doing the humans a big favor. Miko, you agree, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought too. All right then, you finally convinced Paimon you guys were right. What are you scared of, little one? Don't be deceived by her day-to-day -day antics. Miko is actually one of the most powerful yokai out there. Hmm, not only that, Irakusai, but my latest work has beaten that book you wrote, A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, to become the most popular in Inazuma. Hmm, of course. You were never one to make extra work for yourself where you can help it. And yet you went to all these lengths to find my painting room, and even took the trouble to summon me. I knew you must have some ulterior motive. You were always the one to pick a quarrel with me when we all used to gather around and share stories. All right, all right. You win, I lose. Happy now? Ha! <laughs> I finally get to hear you say it centuries later. Ooh, I must say it feels good. Again, I don't know how to feel. I mean, I have a smile all throughout the this adventure with her. I might say that actually the best one of the oil characters, sorry. Hmm. I remember when you were just a little girl, always hanging off my shoulders. A few hundred years later, and you're all grown up. Oh, Urakusai, how much time do you have left? Hmm. Not much. That goes for all of us, actually. We've all got to go back where we came from in the end. Everyone's quite content in many ways, but they still can't help but ask, are we ever going to have another Hyakyako? <laughs> Don't you worry about that, Urakusai. Arrangements are being made. When my bell rings, it means the moonless night is upon us. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. Miko, it's been nice catching up, but I'd better conserve my energy if I want to stick it out until then. So, I'll be on my way now. All right. Goodbye then, Urakusai. Uh, one last thing, Miko. I just want to know, have you been well all these years? I've been great, of course. Every day is a happy one. Especially these days. Not only do I have my light novels, but I've also met these two delightfully nosy outlanders. And even A is finally starting to come to her senses. Quite a miracle, given how pig-headed she can be. Oh, well, great. That's fantastic. Urakusai, you'd be right at home in this era. A great storyteller and artist like yourself would be the Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. And I would personally be hounding you over your next installment. <laughs> he disappeared. Are you awake? How are you feeling? And we uh, mute again. Are you all there? Here, like last time, repeat after me. Oh, you beat me to it. Looks like your brain is intact. So, your first possession, hmm? What was it like? <laughs> Good. Saves me from having to explain everything again. Hearing Rakusai admit defeat has put me in the most wonderful mood. In return, it's only fair that we make sure to deliver on what they're all hoping for. And that be? Yes, 
Though they only represent a tiny proportion of the memories in the ley lines, it will still be quite a sight to behold when the time comes. Since you've come this far, why don't you do one last thing for me, hmm? I'll need your help with the ritual. You cannot be serious, Miko! After all that, you still have more errands for us? <sighs> you guys teamed up to scare Paimon just now! If you think Paimon's gonna do anything you ask for, think again! Aw, come on. I'm really only asking you to finish what you started. Besides, your paychecks are still in my hands. <laughs> Paimon's paycheck? Oh, well, there's no way out now. We're in too deep. 